Okay, first of all, we're going to go to Add, Mesh, and choose a Cylinder. After that, we're going to go to Edit Mode, choose Face Selection Mode, click on the top face, press Delete or X, choose Faces. Again, choose the, I mean, select the bottom part. Choose delete or X and choose faces. Okay. Um, after that, we're going to go to front view and uh, turn on the X ray with the edge selection mode turned on. Select and then press S and then drag a little bit. Okay, so we have this kind of uh, shape. Select outside, turn off the X ray for now. Control R. Remember, we are in edit mode, okay? Control R and just uh, scroll up. Okay, this much is okay. And then click again, click. Click outside, okay. This is how it looks for now. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a kind of shape that is kind of like cross, cross shape. Uh, for that, we're gonna first select everything. Uh, and then again, we're gonna go to front view, turn on X-ray, uh, X-ray. And then hold the control key and we're gonna drag like this again, drag like this, drag here again, drag here. Okay, we have selected these parts and um, you're gonna turn off the x ray for now. And then we're gonna go to face and poke faces. Okay, so this is the shape we want. Click outside for now. Okay, looks good. We're going to click on one of the edges. We have the edge selection mode selected. Click one of the edges. Uh, press Shift G to select similar. Press uh, choose length. Okay. After that, we're going to press Control I. After that, uh, we can see that the top part is selected. We don't want that. Uh, I think we can do that. Let's see. Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, that's not working. So this top part shouldn't be selected. Go to front view again, go to X-ray. Hold the control key, drag like this. Again, drag like this. Same on the bottom. Okay. After that, let's turn off the X-ray and press delete and then choose uh, dissolve edges. Now, there are some parts that are not selected. I'm not sure why they are not selected, uh, but you can what we what you can do is we can manually select these uh, these edges. Let's select this and shift G and then length. Uh, but that's going to select everything. Uh, okay, let's go to front view and then again turn on this X ray. Hold the control key. We're going to deselect these ones. Okay, we have everything selected. Again, delete and then dis uh, dissolve edges. Okay, now we are good. We're good to go. Okay, now only thing we need to do is okay. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, select this edge here. We can try with Shift Alt and click, so it selects the loop, the round loop, and then I'm gonna press F. You know, so it's gonna create this face. 
And we also can to insert, press I and then insert, press I and then insert, okay. Uh, okay. After that, what we can what we can do is uh, click uh, choose face selection mode and then click here and then sh shift G and then what we can choose is area. So it selects everything that looks like this square. But again, you can see that the bottom part is selected. To deselect, let's go once again. Uh, okay, what do we can do? Oh, okay. Go to front view again. Turn on X-ray. Hold the control key and drag like this. Okay, we're done. Turn off the X-ray. Now what we can do is go to face extrude individual faces but we're not going to extrude just keep it as it as it is press enter now we're going to press i to inset and drag slowly not too much just a little bit click and then press delete and choose faces okay so this looks like this uh, after that, what we can do is select this thing, go to edit mode, uh, okay, select everything by pressing A, we're gonna go to mesh and then normals and we're gonna recalculate inside. Go to object mode, uh, okay. Select the object, we're gonna go to modifiers, add modifier, go to generate and choose solidify. And offset to one. And then thickness, we can choose our own uh, preferences, okay. Uh, okay, this much is okay, I guess. Maybe this much, okay. It already looks okay, but we can go to add modifier again and choose uh, subdivision surface to make it a little uh, smoother. Okay, okay, so it looks like this. You can adjust the level here from one to two, maybe. Yeah, that looks good. And you can right click and shade smooth. Okay, so okay, we have created this uh, dust bin or garbage bin whatever you call it and uh, I hope you learned a new thing today if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and uh, do not forget to subscribe to this channel